Among all the good in the world, and all the progress being made in global issues, there's still much more to be done. With 2020 behind us, 2021 is already testing how we work together to address critical challenges at home and across borders. Support for international cooperation hangs in the balance at precisely the moment when robust collaboration is needed most. From promoting climate change and sustainability, to averting conflict within and between nations, to confronting the systematic forces that create unequal societies, in 2021, we must answer the question. Here's the list of top 10 most important issues of today that the world is facing. At number one is climate change. Climate change is the defining issue of our time, and we are at a defining moment. From shifting weather patterns that threaten food productions to rising sea levels that increase the risk of catastrophic flooding, the impacts of climate change are global in scope and unprecedented in scale. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, in its recent fifth report, said that from 1880 to 2012, the average global temperature increased by 0.85 degrees Celsius. The global temperatures are rising and are estimated to increase from 2.6 degrees Celsius to 4.8 degrees Celsius by 2100. Oceans have warmed, the amount of snow and ice have diminished, and the sea level has risen. We are going to have more heat wave patterns. And finally, we are going to have no ice in the Arctic. In 2021, we must decarbonize large swaths of the economy, shift financial flows, protect ecosystems, and adapt for the future. It is written in Time Magazine that the real danger is when politicians and CEOs are making it look like the real action is happening, when in fact almost nothing is being done. At number two is pollution. Pollution can take many forms. The air we breathe, the water we drink, the soil we use to grow our food, the lit up skies, and even the increasing noise we hear every day can all contribute to health problems and a lower quality of life with major disruptions and effects on wildlife and ecosystems. Environmental pollution, which is causing grave and irreparable damage to the natural world and human society with about 40% of deaths worldwide, being caused by water, air, and soil pollution. By the middle of the 20th century, an awareness of the need to protect air, water, and land environments from pollution had developed among the general public. Major pieces of environmental legislation, such as the Clean Air Act 1970 and the Clean Water Act of 1972, were passed in many countries to control and mitigate environmental pollution. Pollution is one of the most difficult global issues to combat, as everything comes under the umbrella of pollution. At number three is lack of primary education. Children are key to our success, yet many children across the world do not have some of their most basic needs met. UNICEF says every child has the right to learn, but it does not seem so. Fifteen years ago, the international community made a commitment to provide universal primary school education for all children. While considerable progress has been made, still now more than 72 million children throughout the globe that are of age to be in primary education are not enrolled in school. This can be attributed to inequality and marginalizations, as well as poverty. The problem is not limited to children not going to school, even when children are attending school. The quality of their education might be poor, or educational capacity and resources may be limited. In 2017, the UN estimated that approximately 600 million children are not mastering basic mathematics and literacy while at school. There are many organizations that work directly with the issue of education and providing the proper tools and resources to aid schools. At number four is the issue of unemployment. What is unemployment? Unemployment is simple enough to understand. It is an economic condition in which individuals seeking jobs remain unhired. Problems come after it when you are unhired. You are unable to earn. When you are unable to earn, you are unable to feed yourself and your family. So basic necessities remain unfilled. Without the necessary education and skills for employment, many people, particularly 15 to 24 year olds, struggle to find jobs and create a proper living for themselves and their families. Main reasons of unemployment are population growth, slow economic growth, seasonal occupation, slow growth of the economic sector, and fall in the cottage industry. Many people lost their job during the pandemic of COVID-19. The COVID-19 pandemic will eventually go away. The consequences for jobs and livelihoods across the globe will be felt for many years to come. (music) 
At number five is the problem of food security. The number of hungry people in the world has increased over the last few years. Now, as many as one in nine people in the world go hungry each day and suffer from nutritional deficiencies as a result. The problem is not that we aren't producing enough food, but rather that people lack access to food. Many people do not have enough money to purchase food and cannot grow their own. According to the World Food Program, countries with the highest level of food insecurity also have the highest outward migration of refugees. Approximately 11% of the world is undernourished. About 39% of the adult population are overweight. So some of us are eating of someone else's part. At number six is health issues. Besides malnutrition, there are many other issues affecting health on a global scale. For example, right now we're in the middle of the global COVID-19 pandemic, which has infected more than 38 million people worldwide and resulted in over 1 million deaths. In the past, the main topic of focus was communicable diseases like hepatitis, cholera, malaria, tuberculosis, and HIV. Teaching good hygiene practices is beneficial, but the importance of good nutritional education and preventing personal harm is now needed to be emphasized. Low-income countries lack emergency response resources, so it paves ways to many diseases. Still, after so many developments in medical fields, many communicable diseases are still responsible for 71% of deaths globally. At number seven is substance abuse and mental health. Dealing with substance abuse, alcoholism, or drug addiction is never easy. The United Nations reports that by the beginning of the 21st century, an estimated 185 million people over the age of 15 were consuming drugs globally. The drugs most commonly used are marijuana, cocaine, alcohol, amphetamine stimulants, opiates, and volatile solvents. Different classes of people, both poor and rich, partake in substance abuse, and it is a persistent issue throughout the world. Certain illegal drugs can cause people with an addiction to experience one or more symptoms of a mental health problem. Mental health problems can sometimes lead to alcohol or drug use, as some people with a mental health problem may misuse these substances as a form of self-medication, so they are correlated. At number eight is conflicts between nations and peace. The year 2020 marks the ninth anniversary of the war in Syria and the fifth in Yemen. Venezuela may very well become the source of the world's largest and most underfunded refugee crisis. Kashmir crises are still there. Lethal violence and violent crime are on the rise, affecting growing cities in an urbanizing world. And the risk of interstate conflicts and geopolitical strife has taken center stage. According to the 2020 Global Humanitarian Report, one out of every 45 people on this planet will need help and protection next year. We have just witnessed the first year of implementation of UN reforms, intended to better connect development work with peacekeeping and security, with an emphasis on preventing conflict. Let's hope it will bring some change. At number nine is the need of gender equality. Inequality is at the heart of many of the gravest issues facing the global community, including development. Gender equality is not only a fundamental human right, but a necessary foundation for a peaceful, prosperous, and sustainable world. Discriminatory laws and social norms remain pervasive. Women continue to be underrepresented at all levels of political leadership, and one in five women and girls between the ages of 15 and 49 report experiencing physical or sexual violence by an intimate partner within a 12-month period. Women play a disproportionate role in the economy. Women's unpaid care work has increased significantly as a result of school closures and the increased needs of older people. At number 10 is the issue of water scarcity. Water covers 70% of our planet, and it is easy to think that it will always be plentiful. However, fresh water, the stuff we drink, bathe in, irrigate our farm fields with, is incredibly rare. Only 3% of the world's water is fresh water, and two-thirds of that is tucked away in frozen glaciers or otherwise unavailable for us to use. Some 1.1 billion people worldwide lack access to water. There is not a global water shortage as such, but individual countries and regions need to urgently tackle the critical problems presented by water stress. Water has to be treated as a scarce resource.
With so many current global issues that require immediate attention, it is easy to get discouraged. However, the amount of progress that organizations have made in combating these problems is admirable, and the world will continue to improve in the years to come. That is it for today's video. Do you have any plans or solutions in mind for these issues to be resolved? Tell us in the comment section which issue you find the most debatable. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, District 10 TV, for we are here to serve you with our fun, interesting, knowledgeable videos. And if you enjoyed today's video, then you will surely enjoy our upcoming videos. Click the bell button so you'll be notified every time we have a new upload in the channel. You may also check our previous videos as well. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.